I'm gonna show you guys 10 mind blowing effects and techniques inside CapCut that are not only super easy to create, but are also absolutely free for everyone to use. And all of it done in only five minutes, so let's go. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys how to do inside CapCut is gonna be speed ramping and syncing. Most tutorials I've seen do not actually show you how to speed ramp your clips to match with the audio, but I got you. Remember, syncing is important. Don't be like this guy. So first click on your audio track and to place a marker, click on this flag icon right here, or you can just click control J to add a marker. Begin placing the markers on the beats with the most impact or bass. And this is where we're gonna be having our transitions. Or for beginners, you can hover over here and click auto beat and click beat two and CapCut will auto add beats to your video. Next, add in your footage and make sure it's clicked and then go over to speed, then curves, and then click on customize. This footage is from Sutra edits because I don't have a car. So make sure you go check them out. Next, we're gonna be deleting these two keyframes by clicking this minus button right here. We want to have the speed ramp in fast, so grab the left keyframe and then drag it up to 10x speed. Grab the middle keyframe and then drag it down to 0.5 speed and drag it to the left or right so the keyframe is in the middle of the two beats. The footage I am using is already slowed down, so I'm gonna be having the slow-mo at 1x speed. But if your clips are in regular speed, I recommend putting them down to 0.5x. Next, go to the end of the video and then click on this little plus icon to add a keyframe put it up to 10x speed and drag it to the left until it lines up with the beat where we're going to be cutting the video click ctrl b to split and then click on it and delete to trim next click smooth mo for buttery smooth footage and repeat this process and you just learn how to perfectly speed ramp and sync your edits for all these effects that i'm showing you on the desktop version of CapCut can also be done from your phone anywhere freeze frame mask transition once you have all your clips inside your timeline, go over to your second clip and click Control C and then Control V to duplicate the layer. With your second clip selected, go over and click on this freeze button to freeze the first frame of the clip. Drag it over your first clip and trim it so it's about half a second long. Click on the freeze frame layer and go over to video and then cut out and then click on auto cut out and boom. And just like that, the AI will cut out your subject with just one click, saving you countless hours of editing. No more having to cut out manually your subject. Next, go to basic and at the end of the clip, set a scale keyframe to 100 and go to the beginning and set a keyframe to zero. Repeat this process and add those extra spices to get this really cool freeze frame transition. Now, if you're like me who creates horizontal videos like this for YouTube, but later on you want to turn these same videos into TikToks, CapCut has a new feature where you can auto reframe your horizontal videos like these and turn them into any aspect ratio that you want. To use it, all you have to do is click on your video, go down to basic, and scroll all the way down until you see auto reframe. And put in the desired aspect ratio and click apply. And keep the subject in frame at all times. Oh, I'm over here. Oh. Ooh, ooh, okay, I'm done. Well, speaking of AI and saving you hours of time editing, you can now get captions like these all in one click. Once you have your video in, head over to the text and click on auto captions and then click create. Once it's done, you'll see all your captions above your video. If one of the lines are too long, go over to captions and simply press return on where you want it to split the caption so fewer words pop up on the screen at a time. Over in the text, you can play with the fonts, change the size of the text, the position. Also over in effects, you can play all these really cool text effects to your captions. Lastly, if you click on animation, you can choose a really cool text animation to apply to your captions. Sound effects. Sound effects can make or break your edits, so make sure you guys head over to the CapCuts audio tab and click on sound effects and choose from a variety of sound effects to spice up your videos. Click and drag your desired sound effect and add it to your timeline. And over in basic, you can have the sound effect fade in or fade out, or click on audio effects to create a really unique sounding effect in one click. And over in voice filters, you can use echo. Finding you guys all the cool effects inside CapCut so you don't have to rapid fire, let's go, Bob. So if you go to effects, body effects, and inside the training section, you'll find the figure glare. Drag it on above your video to create this really cool glowing flicker to your subject. Also play around with the settings. Inside the same training section, drag on undirectional movement, at the end of the transition, click Control B to split and click Delete to trim. Now you just created a really cool slide transition in about two seconds. Picasso. Over in Effects and then Visual Effects, go into the Trending tab and scroll down until you find Vibration Flash. 
drag it over your transition, drag it left or right so the main flash is right over your transition, scroll to the right after the effect is done, and click Control B to split, and then click Delete. Over inside Body Effects, if you go down to the Trending tab, scroll down until you find Eye Reflection and drag that over your video. And in just one click, you have glowing eyes on your subject. Play around these settings to get your desired look. To get this really cool shake transition, head over to Transitions, and then click on Movement, and scroll down until you see Shake. Simply grab that shake transition and drag it over one of your transitions. And boom, just like that, your transitions have a lot more energy. Next, if you go over to effects and then body effects, and then inside the training tab, if you scroll down, you'll find chromatic diffusion. All you have to do is grab it, drag it over whatever video you would like. And boom, just like that, you have a really cool RGB echo effect behind your subject. If you guys want to see more effects and techniques that you guys can do inside CapCut, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you.